In the last video, we talked about controlling the width of the divs in your page using margin. If you add a left and right margin, it'll force the box to fit um, the rest of the the rest of the size of, of the page. So if we gave ours a 12% margin on left, 12% margin on right, it will force the rest of the page to be 76% of the width of the page. Okay? We controlled the height by using the height property. And um, now we're going to move on to putting all this stuff together, adding content into this empty shell of a page, and uh, talking a little bit about what these various elements are really used for. I'm going to talk about something called semantic markup. All right, so let's get started. Our page looked a little something like this. This is where we left off. Now I'm going to add some content in the header, some content in the main content area, and some stuff in the footer. So the header. The purpose of the header is to uh, basically tell the user what page they're on, what website they're at. So if we go to any other website, for example, Lorem Ipsum, this would be the header right here where it says Lorem Ipsum, and then there's a quote right down here below it that kind of talks about what it's all about. Um, up above here, above the header, you'll find advertisements, and here you'll find different languages that you can even use. All right? The main content would be this area right here with these subheads and paragraphs and also the ability to make the lorem ipsum text. And then the footer is right down here where we see some, uh, we see an email address to the creators of the site and some links to advertisements. All right. So let's go here. The header. In the header we're going to use an H1. We use an H1 is because it's the largest of all headlines, okay? And you only use this once in any given web page. You can use it on every page that you make for a website, but use it only once on a web page. Uh, this will help direct search engines to your site a little bit better. And usually you want this to be the headline of the page, the main subject of the page. For example, a lorem ipsum in the header, we have this text that says lorem ipsum. If we went to a Minnesota Vikings homepage, it would probably say Minnesota Vikings. So I'm going to make this one about Minnesota Vikings. All right. So I put that in an H1. Now, in the content area, we usually want to have uh, paragraphs and pictures and other things like that. I'm just going to start with a paragraph. you'll notice I'm putting it inside of these divs. These divs are going to contain all the important stuff. The divs are just going to force all of our stuff to be whatever size we want. Okay? So I'm going to go to lorem ipsum and get some text. I'm just going to get one paragraph. Generate it. Copy it. Paste it. Oops. Okay. I'm going to copy this again. I'm going to paste it down here. So I'm just going to have two paragraphs. So I will save it. I'm going to make one more just for the heck of it. Get some white space in there. Save it launch it in Firefox. Now, we've got a problem, don't we? Our text has overflowed the box. It's gone out of the bottom of this, this div. That's what happens when you force a height on a div. I want to take the height out of content. A div is naturally going to contain however much information you put in it. So if I take that height out, the div stays the right height. See that? Now, there's another funny thing about this. You notice, before I put these paragraphs in here, there was no space in between my content div and my um, header div and footer div. But now there's a little space in there. Paragraph automatically puts some margins on things, okay? And uh, we don't always want that. So we've got to figure out a way to deal with this. I'm going to start 
by adding one little line in here. This is a line that I put at the beginning of almost any web page I design. It looks like this, star brackets margin zero padding zero. And this should fix that problem. What I'm doing is taking margin and padding out of everything. I've used something called the universal selector. That little asterisk selects everything, every element in existence in the web page, and any rules we apply to that will be applied to everything. So margin and padding zero will be applied to everything in my browser. And it fixed that problem. See that? Okay. Now, the only issue that I have is I would like to have a little bit of padding here in my, in my paragraph so that I don't have content touching the edges of a div. So I'm going to go to P. I'm going to just add a little padding. Padding. I'm going to add 15 pixels of padding. Save it. Refresh it. And that's a little better. Now I've got a, a little bit of breathing room, a little bit of white space in there, and that looks kind of nice. The last thing that I'm going to add in is just a list down in the footer. Okay. I'm going to add an unordered list. And some list items. Save it. And I'm going to go up into my style sheet. I'm going to add a little style to those, okay? UL. I'm going to do something that's called display. I'm going to choose inline. Before we talked about something called block level elements, there are elements that take up an entire row. Inline level elements don't. You can fit many inline level elements all on one line. This is going to force that list all to be on one line in the browser. And it didn't. Oops, that's because I, sorry. I need to do it to the list items, not to the UL. Silly me. There we go. So the list items are now all on one line. If I want to, I could go to the UL or I could go to these list items and giving, give them a little bit of margin. I'm going to give it margin on the left of 25 pixels, just to space them out a little bit. And there we have it. I would use this eventually to make some navigation later on. So what we do with these divs is we put content into them. They're containers that can hold other types of elements that can hold uh, content. So in, the, in uh, the next lesson, what we're going to work on is really fine-tuning this stuff, taking it from here and making it look beautiful.